God. Hallelujah. He's a mighty God. Hallelujah. And he is worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To be praised. Glory be to God. Come on, somebody. Help me praise him. Hallelujah. Help me to praise him. Hallelujah. So many times we think that the choir is supposed to do it. So many times we think that the praise team is supposed to do it. But the Bible say that everything that has breath, hallelujah, ought to praise him. Everything, hallelujah, that has breath, all to praise him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm just so blessed. Hallelujah. To be among the living this morning. I am blessed to be in your presence this morning. I am blessed to be in the presence of God's beautiful people this morning. Hallelujah. Go ahead and love on yourself because you are wonderfully and beautifully made. Amen. You are wonderfully and beautifully made in the image of God. No matter what, hallelujah, your test or your trial may be, hallelujah, glory be to God. Go ahead and share this morning, hallelujah, go ahead and share it out, hallelujah. We are once again excited to be here amongst the saints to share the word of God today to, uh, hallelujah, just to lift up the name of the Lord today, hallelujah, glory be to God, I have gratitude for all that God has done for me, hallelujah, if I try to count my blessings one by one, glory be to God, I, I could never ever stop, hallelujah, to see what God has done, I am blessed again, hallelujah, to be here with you today, hallelujah, in the presence of God, Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So once again, welcome unto the Cyber Church. Glory be to God. I hope that you have gotten your praise on by now. <laughs> I hope that you have praised him. I hope that you have woken up somebody. Come on. I hope that you have even woken yourself up this morning by giving him a, a praise. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to open hallelujah in prayer today. Hallelujah. Father. We come before you today. Oh, yes, God. Hallelujah. Oh, God. We come before your name today. We come before your throne of grace today. Oh, God. Hallelujah. To lift up your name. We come to you in the sacred name of Jesus. The name above every name. The name whereby every knee must bow and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord. The name in which healing and deliverance and, and salvation come forward. We come to you, oh, God, as humble as we know how, Father. Father, doing what you have required us to do, to fellowship with one another, to break the bread of life with one another. God, we decrease this morning that your Holy Spirit would increase. Father, we pray that your presence will be felt. Oh, Lord God, hallelujah, in every room and every house, oh God, let your presence be known and felt. Hallelujah, among every viewer, oh God, show yourself mighty today, Father. Show yourself mighty today among your people, God. We come to honor you, God. We come to exhort you. We come to bless you, God. We come, oh God, hallelujah, that we, our cups may be filled today, Lord God. We come that you may pour out on us today, God. We come for a fresh anointing, oh God. We come to behold, oh God, your word, Father. We thank you today. We thank you for another minute, another day, another second, hallelujah, to be among the land of the living, and more importantly, in your presence, and in the presence, hallelujah, of your people. In Jesus' holy name, amen and amen. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We're going to be talking about unity in the body of Christ 
today. Unity in the body. This is the word that God has given me. Amen. Hallelujah. God want us to promote unity in the body of Christ. Yes. Unity. We know that unity is oneness. When we can be one, one with God and one with our sisters and brothers. When we have that love and, and mutual respect and admiration for one another, that concern for one another. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So I'm going to read uh, Psalms 133. I read this Thursday and I'm going to read it again. Amen. Hallelujah. Faith come by hearing and hearing by the word of God. The more we hear something, the more it builds up our faith. Amen. Hallelujah. And after that, if you have your Bibles, I want you to mark your Bible for 1 Corinthians chapter 12. But I'm going to go to uh, Psalms 133 this morning. It says, Behold how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Amen. Hallelujah. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard, that went down to the skirts of his garment, as the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion. For there the Lord commanded the blessings and life evermore. Amen. Hallelujah. We thank God for the reading of his holy word. We know that the word of the Lord is already blessed. May it continue to add a blessing to every hearer and doer of God's holy word. Amen and amen. Now, as we can look around, hallelujah, in our country today, we see a lot of division. We see a lot of division in our country. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There's a lot of division. And so God want us, his people, to unify. Glory be to God. There's a lot of things happening upon the earth, and there's a lot of things that will happen upon the earth, but we need to be unified uh, with the believers. We need to be unified even in our households. Come on. Hallelujah. I don't know about you today, but I need you to make it through. Come on. Hallelujah. Too many times we feel as if we don't need anyone. We that's a that's a lie straight from the pit of hell. Everybody needs somebody. No man is an island unto himself. No man is an island unto himself. I believe if you were to be stuck on the island today by yourself. I'm talking about a deserted island. Come on. Hallelujah. Even we, we, we look at the pictures of the beautiful islands and, and the waters and, and the palm trees, the coconut trees, and we can see, hear the breeze and see how beautiful it look. And we say, oh my God, if I can just go there, if I can just go to Hawaii, hallelujah, I see Yahweh on from the Bahamas. If we can just go to the Bahamas and just lay up on one of those 700 island in Keys. And I'm not talking about the populated islands. I'm talking about those that are just uh, off to themselves. Come on. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter how beautiful it may look, but baby, after spending too many days there by yourself, you will wish that you were able to reach out and touch somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Reach out and touch somebody's hand. Hallelujah. We can make the world a better place if we can. Come on. Hallelujah. God wants us to, to become united. He wants us to become a united force. Hallelujah. In him and for him. How many know that we can get more done? Hallelujah. We can get more done. Hallelujah. If we become united. Glory be to God. Well, I want to draw your attention to 1 Corinthians chapter 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I pray that you have your Bible so that you can follow along with me. Glory be to God. Here, uh, the Apostle Paul is talking, talking to the church of Corinth as it pertains to spiritual gifts. Come on. Hallelujah. We need to be united even as it pertains to the uh, spiritual 
spiritual aspect of it, the spiritual gifts. We need to be united, not only in the spirit, but also in the natural. So 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And I'm going to start with verse 12. It says, For as the body is one and had many members, and all the members of that one body, being many members, our one body also is Christ. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. He says, Paul says, For as the body is one. Come on. Sometimes we read. But we need to get a, a, a understanding when we read. Come on. Hallelujah. And all thy getting, get understanding. And all thy getting, get understanding. One body. Come on. Hallelujah. It's not natural to see two bodies. Uh, well, you would never see that. Amen. Hallelujah. It's one body. Come on. Hallelujah. He says, for as the body is one. And had many members. One body, but many members. Come on. Hallelujah. And all the members of that one body, notice that word, one body, being many members, are one body. So also is Christ. For by one spirit are we all baptized in what? One body. Come on. Hallelujah. One body. But many members. Hallelujah. Paul said we have one body. But many members. And if we think about it. It is true. Come on. We have our eyes. We have our nose. We have our mouth. We have our ears. We have our hands. Somebody may be saying this is elementary. Well I'm glad you feel that way. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes we need to have a, a refresher course. Glory be to God. Sometimes we need to have a refresher course. Because just when we think that we know it all. We're missing something. Hallelujah. God is looking for life learners. One body, but many members. Hallelujah. And all the members of that one body, uh, uh, I'm sorry, for by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Jews or Gentiles. Come on. Hallelujah. So, in, uh, in other words, it doesn't matter what your ethnic background may be mm. but if you are born again you are born into one body and that's the body of christ and that's why we see so much a uh, division and discord hallelujah today and it wasn't and it's not only today glory be to god it was back then there's nothing new under the sound of under the son of god hallelujah Hallelujah. Don't you, don't, do you realize that there's nothing new under the son of God? Hallelujah. Paul was telling this to the people of Corinth in that day. Come on. Hallelujah. He said, whether you be Jew, Jews or Gentiles, whether we be born or free and have been made and have been all made to drink into one spirit. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I don't, it, it doesn't matter if you are African American. It doesn't matter if you are Caribbean. Hallelujah. African. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter if you're Caucasian, Jewish, Gentile. If you are saved, sanctified, filled with the precious Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. You have been baptized in one body. Hallelujah. God is tired of the isms and the schisms in the body of Christ. We can't get a, a great move of God, hallelujah, in the body of Christ because there is so much uh, division, division, di means two, division to separation, hallelujah. If we ever needed to be united, hallelujah, we need to be united today, come on, hallelujah, one body, but different members, hallelujah, Different members of one body with different functions, but all are important. Come on. Hallelujah. My eyes cannot function like my ears. 
My ears cannot function like my mouth. My mouth can't function as my nose. My feet cannot function as my hand. My hand can't function, hallelujah, like my feet. Come on, hallelujah. Every member of the body, the natural body, hallelujah, is important. It's different functions, but all is important. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And this is this is the same in the spirit. Hallelujah. God want us to become one. Hallelujah. If you have been watching the news uh lately or most of the time most people are really on social media these days. We're even seeing uh this division being dealt with in the body of Christ. Come on somebody. Hallelujah. We're we're seeing uh uh, pastors and, and ministers, hallelujah, are coming to the forefront now, uh, unlike in times past, unlike in times past, and talking about the elephant in the room. <laughs> what is that elephant in the room? How come we all say that we are Christian, but there's still some friction among us? Because of the color of our skin. But we claim to love Jesus. Mm. Jesus say, how can we love our, uh, say we love him, but hate our brother. The brother that we see. Hallelujah. But have never seen him and say we love him. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We have to, we have to begin to. To walk in love. Hallelujah. We have to begin to walk in, in unity like never, ever before. Hallelujah. I'm sorry about this. My uh, battery seemed like it's trying to fall out on me. But hallelujah. Glory be to God. For, forgive me. Hallelujah. If you can hold on for one minute. I'm so sorry about this. Hallelujah. Guys, I'm sorry. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your understanding. I do appreciate it. Hallelujah. So this is a lot. This is what God uh, really wants us to do. Hallelujah. In this season that we may uh, unify as one body. Hallelujah, because it's one Christ, it's one Lord, it's one Holy Spirit, it's many members. Hallelujah, we can't, the hand can say that uh, it doesn't need the other members of the body. The eyes can't say that it doesn't need the other members of the body. The feet can't say that. And if we are saying that we are out of line or we are out of sync, hallelujah, it makes the body not able to function right. Come on, hallelujah. How many of you in your households feel like sometimes you're the one that's pulling all the weight. Come on. If the truth be told, sometimes we hear people say this. Hallelujah. I'm the one that's doing everything. I'm the one that's doing this. I'm the one that's doing that. But everybody else is sitting there. Hallelujah. Doing nothing. So it makes that one person. Hallelujah. Have to pull harder than necessary. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But if every, if we will recognize that each part of the body should contribute. Come on. Each part of the body should contribute. It makes, hallelujah, the household run better. It it makes the household of God run better. Come on. Even in your in your personal house and in the household of God, when everybody is pulling a weight, then less pressure will be on other parts of the body. And when one part of the body is functioning, glory be to God, you can feel that there is something wrong. Come on. Hallelujah. Something is wrong when one side of the body is pulling and the other side isn't. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. So we need 
every part of the body to function. Hallelujah. God doesn't take pleasure in division. He take pleasure in unity. He say, oh, how good and sweet it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. Oh, how good and sweet it is. He say, this is where the Lord God commands his blessing. He command the blessing. Hallelujah. In unity. Glory be to God. For by one spirit are we all baptized into one body, whether we be Jews or Gentiles. Hallelujah. Whether we be bond or free and have been all made to drink unto one spirit. For the body is not one member. Hallelujah. But many. But many. Glory be to God. Can you imagine the body only having one part? One member, hallelujah. He say, if the foot shall say, because I am not the hand, I, I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body? Glory be to God. Just because we don't have the same functions, it doesn't mean that you are any less than. It doesn't mean that you are not a part of the body. Come on, hallelujah. I am not of the body. Is it therefore not of the body just because the foot said it? Hallelujah. It doesn't make it, it does not make it true because the foot says, hallelujah, I am not the hand. Hallelujah. Because, because the foot say, I am not the hand. Hallelujah. I am not of the body. That doesn't make it true. The foot can say that all the foot want, but the foot is clearly a part of the body. And if the ear shall say, because I am not the eye, I am not of the body. Is it not therefore not of the body? Come on. Hallelujah. Just because the eye says, hallelujah. I, just because the ear says, I am not the eye, it doesn't mean that it's not a part of the body. That's what the word of God say. Come on. Hallelujah. God don't want us to run comparisons. Hallelujah. I'm the eye. I'm not the ear. Come on. That's what sometimes we do in the body of Christ. If we can keep it real. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, hey, I'm, I'm not the apostle. I'm not the, I'm not the pastor. Hallelujah. I'm, I'm not the prophet. I'm not the evangelist. I'm not the teacher. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But you're still a part of the body of Christ. Hallelujah. We all need each other. Each of us bring a, a strength. Hallelujah. Each of us are important one way or the other. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you were not important, if the eye were not important, God would have never said it in the head. If the nose wasn't important, God would have never said it on the face. If the ears wasn't important, God would have never created it. Everything God created it's for a purpose. Come on. Hallelujah. Everything that God created is for a purpose. Hallelujah. Are you hearing me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you getting what God is saying to you this morning? Somebody may be feeling insignificant. Glory be to God. Maybe perhaps somebody have said something to you. Perhaps somebody have done something to you to make you feel insignificant. Hallelujah. But I want to tell you today, you are significant. You are very significant to the body of Christ. Hallelujah. You are significant even in your your, your family, your blood family, you are significant. If you was not significant, God wouldn't have placed you in that family. If you were not significant to the body of Christ, hallelujah, Jesus wouldn't have died on the cross for you. Come on, hallelujah. God is the giver of purpose and everything have a purpose. If I go back to Isaiah chapter 54 and verse uh, 16, it says that God made the, the smith for the blower and for the waster for the destroyer. Come on, hallelujah. Everything God made is for a purpose. Even though God made the smith for the blower, the waster for the destroyer, he still says, but no weapon formed against you shall prosper. I made that for a reason, but it's not for the body of Christ. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I just wanted to throw that in there. 
Everything that God made is for a purpose. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. We need each other. Hallelujah. Even today, some people say, well, you know what? I'm just going to back off. I ain't going there no more. I'm not coming back to that cyber church no more. I'm not going back to his house no more. I'm not going back to her house no more. Don't you know some people even quit their jobs? A job that God has given them as a lively source because somebody hurt their feelings and they felt like they weren't a part of hallelujah glory be to god and so this is the reason where we have to be careful how we treat god's people we have to be careful how we handle people we have the ability in us hallelujah to make or break we have the ability in us to bring unity in the body or to bring division in the body hallelujah don't you know busybody people sometimes bring division and discord in the body of christ hallelujah like the book of proverbs say it's six things god hate and seven it's an abomination. That is one that so discord among the brethren. Hallelujah. You may know something and it may be true, but if you know that it's going to bring division and not unity, sometimes you got to suck that in. Hallelujah for the greater good. Hallelujah. God says six things the Lord hate and the seventh one is an abomination. Hallelujah. That person that so discord among the brethren. Sometimes you just have to zip it. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you know that it's going to cause division and discord in the body of Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. So it, there for the body is not one member, but many. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. If the whole body were an eye, where, where were the hearing? If every, if the whole body was the eye, how could we hear? If the whole body were hearing, how could we smell? Hallelujah. How many, how many of you glad today? Hallelujah. That the body, your body have more than one members, one member. Amen. Hallelujah. If you didn't have a nose, you couldn't smell. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm, I'm, I'm the type of person. I like a uh, nice aroma. Glory be to God. I like when I get out of the shower, I like to spray nice aroma. I, I like uh, expensive candles. Come on. Hallelujah. That smell good. Hallelujah. It does something for me. Hallelujah. I, I, I'm glad for my eyesight today. Hallelujah. In the natural. Hallelujah. Even in the spirit. But I thank God that I'm able to see today. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I'm, I thank you that I'm able to, to taste today. Hallelujah. I met a young lady, uh, one of my clients, many, many, many years ago. Uh, her boyfriend, she told me, I had something in my office. I can't remember. Maybe I was eating something or whatever. And I was like, oh, girl, for... Uh, uh, forgive me this smell. I think I was had something, my lunch or something in my office. And she said, that's okay, Miss Proctor. She said, I can't smell. No way. I was like, you can't smell. She said her boyfriend was so, so jealous of her and slapped her so hard, punched her, slapped her, hit her, whatever it was, so very hard till it literally knocked the smell, her sense of smell and her sense of taste. So you know what? He had to beat that young lady so bad till she lost her sense of taste and smell. She told me, now I, I can eat anything now. Things that I wasn't able to eat before, I can eat because I, I can't taste it. Hallelujah. So I never want to be in that position where I don't have a sense of smell. I don't have uh, a sense of of taste. Come on. Hallelujah. I thank God that I'm able to taste, uh, smell here. I thank God for all the members of the body of Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. Every, 
Every member is important. Verse 18 say, but now had God set the members, every one of them in the body as he pleased. Come on. As he pleased. We're getting to the spiritual gifts. And if they were all one member, where were the body? But now are they many members, yet one body. Hallelujah. We're many members, but one body. And the eye cannot say unto the hand, I have no need of thee, nor again the head to the feet. I have no need of you. Nay, much more those members of the body, which seem to be much more feeble, are necessary. Come on. Hallelujah. That part. Hallelujah. Verse 22. The, the, the members that seem to be more feeble are more necessary. And you see, sometimes we think because a person is in the front, hallelujah, that they are more important. But the word of God declares that the feeble members of the body are more necessary. Come on. Hallelujah. If it wasn't for the people uh, in the back line, hallelujah, holding it down in the back, hallelujah, we would never be able to benefit from the people that's on the front line. Come on. We hear a lot about the front line these days. We're still talking about unity. Glory be to God. How many people have fallen off? Hallelujah. In this season, because they keep hearing front line, front line, front line. And what it does is bruise their ego because we hear all oh, about the doctors, about the uh, the nurses, uh, 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 about the policemen. And, and then the, the garbage man saying, man, but I'm the one picking up this garbage every day. If I don't come around to pick up the garbage, glory be to God, then where all of this stuff is going to go? Come on. Hallelujah. It will cause more of a pandemic. So everybody, the Bible say the part that seemed the more feeble is more necessary. Come on. Hallelujah. He says it's more honorable. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, upon these we bestow more abundant honor and our uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Come on. Hallelujah. If you think about all the parts of the body, hallelujah, Paul mentioned the senses. Come on. Hallelujah. But if you go down to that part, glory be to God, where you have to bring out your bacteria. Can you imagine that uncomely part that we don't talk so much about? But it's so necessary. If we can't bring out our human waste, we don't talk about that part. Hallelujah. But the Bible say it's more important. It's more comely. Come on. Hallelujah. Uh, unity in the body of Christ. Sometimes we say, oh, well, this person, the, 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 the praises, the dancers, the people on the front line. Come on. Hallelujah. But if we didn't have you, hallelujah, to give the word of God to, hallelujah, to usher the presence of the Lord into, come on, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then what's what's the sense of the church if we have nobody to preach to, if we have nobody to teach to? Come on. Hallelujah. Can I tell you today that you are important? I was watching a movie yesterday, last night, and one of the little boys in the movie, three little boys, and one little boy said uh, to his friends, they were talking about what their parents did, and one of the little boys said, uh, well, my dad is going to be a pastor. Uh, but he's just waiting to get some members. <laughs> and I cracked up off of that. That was funny to me. He said, my dad wants to be a pastor, but he have no members. Come on. Hallelujah. What's, what's the sense of being a pastor? Hallelujah. If you have nobody to shepherd. Hallelujah. If you have nobody to, to lead. Hallelujah. If nobody is following you. Come on. Hallelujah. Every member of the body of Christ is in Important. Hallelujah. For the word of God say, even those uncomely parts have more abundant comeliness. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. God is concerned from the head all the way down to the foot. Hallelujah. 
each of us play a important part in the body of Christ, whether we're white or black. Come on. Hallelujah. God is concerned about us. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. There shall not be any division because, come on, hallelujah, there's even a division. I want to go back to that in the body of Christ. Hallelujah. With uh, even along racial lines, uh, ethnic lines. We just said in uh, in the body, in, in the word of God, Paul say, the Jews, the Gentiles, all of us. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's important. The body of Christ. Now in the day we hear the evangelical hallelujah and in this group and that group the evangelicals care about pro-life hallelujah but they don't care about the life afterwards come on hallelujah meaning black lives come on hallelujah glory be to god hallelujah god is concerned about the baby in the womb just as much he's concerned about that baby when they come out of the womb come on hallelujah god want us to to unify in the body of christ hallelujah glory be to god we can't be dismissive of one another come on hallelujah she don't look like me she don't sound like me he doesn't look like me he's from the other side of the track hallelujah glory be to god but we are different members but one body glory be to god we have to begin to uh unify we have to begin to love on one another hallelujah we have to begin to see people through the eyes of god come on hallelujah glory be to god just because it does not uh concern me hallelujah like some people say well that doesn't affect me that doesn't affect my household it may not affect you and your household today but i tell you if you keep on living hallelujah you're going to go through some things and you may pass through some of those same things glory be to god that your sister or brother is passing through that's why god want us to have compassion hallelujah upon one another hallelujah and to unify glory be to god not just because we're coming to the last days not because we're coming to end times come on Hallelujah. We can't unify now. Glory be to God. When it get worse, how can we expect to, to unify and to walk in unity? For the Bible says in the book of Matthew chapter 20 and 16, he says the first shall be last and the last shall be first. Hallelujah. That go along with what Paul says. Come on. Hallelujah. Even the uncomely parts are more important. Sometimes we like to say, oh, we puff up ourselves. Sometimes we have a, a arrogant way about us. Come on. Hallelujah. Sometimes we look down upon other people. Glory be to God. I know it's tight, but it's right. It may not be for you. Glory be to God, but it's for somebody. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The only time that we should look down on a man is if we are lifting him up. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It doesn't mean that we should uh, be involved with everything that they are involved with glory be to god but unity still mean telling the truth in love telling the truth in love you love your brother or your sister so much hallelujah tell you're going to tell them the truth but you're going to tell them in love some people you know you you tell the truth but it's not how you say it it's not what you say let me correct that but it's how you say it come on hallelujah yeah it can be true but did you really really have to say it that way that you really have to say it that way come on hallelujah you know how many times that people have come back to me and probably yourself too hallelujah when you tell them the truth in love and it probably hurt them at that time and you didn't say it in a harsh way but because you told them the truth how many know that the truth hurts sometimes but then they they have a chance to marinate on that thing and they come back and say you know what what you did say that 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 was right that was right why can they receive it after processing it because they know that you were telling it from a good place they know that you weren't just come to pull them down and to make them feel like they are less than come on hallelujah everybody needs somebody i need you can i tell you today i need you come on hallelujah I, we're all a part of god's family 
Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Some of you I, I, I know personally, and some of you I met just being my Facebook friend. Glory be to God, and you mean so much to me. Glory be to God, just being my uh, social media friend. Come on. Hallelujah. Some of us been following each other for so long till it feel like it feel like I actually do know you. Come on. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. That's that unity. Glory be to God. Paul say, even those uh, uncomely parts that we should bestow more honor upon them. Hallelujah. That there should be no schisms. That's division in the body. But that the members shall have the same care one for another. The same care one for another. Unity. Glory be to God. Unity. The same uh, care one for another. I remember uh, just thinking back in the book of Acts when the church got started. They began to sell everything that they had personally. It wasn't a requirement. It's just something they came up with. And they sold everything and they put it. They laid it down at the apostles' feet. And so the apostles, they began to distribute, distribute the goods out to the people. Hallelujah. So that there will be no lack in the body of Christ. So that everybody will feel important. And this is why we have outreach ministries today. Come on. Hallelujah. Because my sister, brother over here may not have it. But what I have, such as I have, hallelujah, I can give unto you. Come on. Hallelujah. So God I want us to to unify hallelujah and whether one member suffer all the members shall suffer with it or one member be honored all the members shall rejoice with it amen hallelujah you probably didn't come for this this morning glory be to god but this is the plate that's set before you this is what god want you to know today come on hallelujah Glory be to God. He say, when one member suffer, all the members shall suffer. How many of you, your good friend, family member was suffering, going through something and you can feel it just like it was you. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because you are one body, but many members. Come on. Hallelujah. He says, when one member rejoice. All should rejoice. Why? Again, because we are one mem we are one body, many members. Glory be to God and glory be to God. When when God bless you with your millions, glory be to God. When God upgrades your car, when God advance you on your job, hallelujah. When your business go global, glory be to God. When your child or your children do well, glory be to God. You can count on me. Glory be to God to rejoice with you. Come on. Hallelujah. Yay. And I mean that coming from a good place. Glory be to God. When one suffer, we should feel it. When one rejoice, we should all rejoice. Come on. Hallelujah. We shouldn't duck our head in the sand. When we can do good for somebody. Hallelujah. We shouldn't likewise. We shouldn't duck our head in the sand. Glory be to God when somebody, hallelujah, member of the body of Christ has been promoted one way or the other. We should be able to say, yay. Oh, that's good. We should be able to tell everybody. Hallelujah, girl. You need to go over there and check out my, my friend's store. Come on. She got some good stuff. Come on. You should be able to go over there and tell somebody, oh, look at my brother. My brother, uh, my friend. I went to school with him a long time ago. Man, he sells some good ribs. Come on. Hallelujah. That's what you call unifying in the body of Christ. Rejoicing. Oh, I ain't going to tell nobody about uh, his barbecue stand. Come on. Hallelujah. It's tight, but it's right. Hallelujah. God want us to have unity in the body of Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. Even unity when it comes to spiritual gifts. And God has set some in the church. First apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then the gifts of healing, helps, government, diversity of tongues. Are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Have all the gifts of healing? Do all have the gift of healing? Do all speak with tongues? Do all interpret? Hallelujah. No, we don't all. Everybody can't walk in the same, the same gift. 
Glory be to God. But God placed all of those, those spiritual gifts in the body for the perfecting, hallelujah, in the edifying of the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. And when there's no division, I mean, when there is no unity, you see the people scrambling all over the place. If we would just look at our country right now, hallelujah. Glory be to God. One person is saying one thing. One leader saying one thing, the president saying one thing, the governor saying one thing, the mayor saying another thing, the commissioner saying another thing, hallelujah, and the people are just scrambling, hallelujah, one minute we don't know what to do, why, because there's no unity, glory be to God, we need to unify, Hallelujah. And if we unify and when we unify, you will see the hand of God move. Come on. Hallelujah. Even in the very uh, city that I am in. I don't know where you may be viewing from. Hallelujah. The other day I saw the, the, the county uh, commissioner blaming the city commissioner or the city commissioner blaming the county commissioner. Come on. Hallelujah. We need to get together and unify. When we get together and unify and bring unity, then we will see the hand of God move. Glory be to God all across the spectrum from your house to the White House to the church house to my house. Come on. Hallelujah. Even in the government. But when there is no unity, glory be to God, there is division. And where there is division, there's nothing that can be accomplished. Hallelujah. So that's the word of the Lord for you today. Hallelujah. To walk in unity as much as you could, as much as possible. For the word of God say, walk in peace. Hallelujah. With your sisters and brothers, if at all possible. Come on. Hallelujah. Now, we do know that there are some times and there are some people that you cannot even live in peace with. Come on. Hallelujah. At that time, you separate yourself. Hallelujah. From them, but you still pray for them. You still lift them up. Hallelujah. Before the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. I couldn't move away from this. Hallelujah. Walking in unity. Hallelujah. Because this is what God Hallelujah. Want for his people in this season and in this hour. Hallelujah. And when the body of Christ walk in unity, then the world will see. Hallelujah. That we are not uh, divided, but we are one. The word of God say we are one. Those of us that are saved. Hallelujah. When the world look at us and see that the people of God have it together, then we could attract them. Hallelujah to the kingdom of God. But if we are divided just because one person may believe in being baptized in the name of the Lord and the next person believe in being baptized in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Glory be to God. But we're, we still serve in the same Lord. We still have the same Holy Spirit. It's only one Holy Spirit. Every other spirit, come on, hallelujah, may be cast with a spirit. It may be some evil spirits, but it's only one Holy Spirit. Come on, hallelujah, it's only one Holy Spirit. Hallelujah, you can't say, well, the Holy Spirit that you feel with and then the Holy Spirit. No, it's, it's, it's one body, one spirit, hallelujah, one faith. Glory be to God. We may not understand as somebody else. We may not function as somebody else because we're different members, but we're one body and God have a purpose for the way that each of us function. Amen. Somebody. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Are you hearing what the Lord is saying today? Hallelujah. Glory be to God. The, the world is looking at us. Hallelujah. This is our time as the body of Christ to let our light so shine before men that they may see our good works that glorifies our father, which is in heaven. And how can we do that? By walking in unity, walking in unity. And yes, there are sometimes we we have disagreements because what? We're, we're human. But our disagreement shouldn't separate us. 
Well, girl, I ain't feeling that right now. I don't understand it. Or oh, that's not the way I see it. Well, God bless you. Thank you. And not even with an attitude. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that's the word of the Lord for you today. Hallelujah. And we're going to pray. Hallelujah. That we will walk in, in unity. That we will walk. Hallelujah. With our lights so shining before men. Hallelujah, that it will uh, glorify God. Hallelujah, that they will see our good works, that we will let our light shine like uh, us that's sitting on a, a, a city on top of a hill. Hallelujah, glory be to God, that our lights won't get dull. Hallelujah, that when people look at you, hallelujah, the love of God will radiate through you. Amen. Hallelujah, that you would, hallelujah, be a light for God, that you would attract people for God. Like I hear people saying today, love and light, love and light. And sometimes you can't, you can't always say everything what people saying. Come on, because some of this stuff is new age. Glory be to God. But the light that you want shining through you. It's the light of God. It's the light of Jesus. When Jesus was in the world, he was the light of the world. But when he ascended back to the father, he told us, he said, ye are the light of the world. We are the light of the world. Come on. That's the love I got. The love of Christ and the light of Christ. Come on. Hallelujah. I'm not going to be entangled with everything that somebody is saying. Hallelujah. Father, we just thank you today. We thank you for rescuing our soul. Yes, Lord. We thank you for rescuing you and us, oh God, from a burning hell, Lord God. We thank you that you loved us so much, oh God, that you place your banner over us is love, and you brought us to the banquet table, oh God, and you put your banner over us in uh, that's love, oh God. While we were yet in sin, hallelujah, you commanded your love towards us. And Father, we thank you today, Father. God, we thank you that, hallelujah, you love us so much till when we fall, hallelujah, you strengthen us, hallelujah, to get back up. Father, we thank you, Lord God. We pray today, Father, that you will make us, hallelujah, hallelujah. We pray like Jesus prayed in John chapter 17, that we will be one, God. We pray that we begin to unify, hallelujah, as one God. Hallelujah. We thank you, Father, that Jesus' prayer is working in our life, oh God. Father, we see your people through the eyes of love, oh God. Father, we thank you, hallelujah, for uniting us together, oh Lord God, that we will be one link of chains that cannot be broken asunder, God. Father, even, I pray, even for the households, oh God, that's represented here today, Oh God, hallelujah, God. I pray that they will be united as one with each other. Lord God, every spirit of division and discord that will come to wreak havoc in the households, oh God, that's viewing. Oh God, we bind it in the name of Jesus. Every spirit that was sent by the enemy to cause division, to cause malice and envy and hate and jealousy and strife, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We bind your powers right now in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray today, God, hallelujah, that these families will be united as one, oh God, in the name of Jesus, that there, there will be mutual respect, and love, and at admiration one for another God that when one hurt the other one will be concerned and, and run to the rescue oh God hallelujah father that we will not only be lip service father oh God that we will take action behind our word oh God father we thank you Lord God we thank you for moving us closer to you today God father we thank you for wrapping your loving arms around us today Lord God even as we look out over uh, various ethnic groups, oh God, and the enemy in this season will, will try to cause hate to come in our heart, Father. Father, we debunk that hate. We debunk the spirit, hallelujah, that the enemy will try to bring 
to us, O oh God. Hallelujah. We, we, we come against that spirit with the sword of the spirit dipped in the blood of Jesus. We cut you off in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, O oh God. Hallelujah. For giving us love. Hallelujah. For mankind, Father. No matter what ethnic group they may be in, Father. Father, we, we, we realize that some things are just pure wrong, oh God, but because of the love of Christ that you have placed in us, Father, help us to love them, oh God. Help us to love them, oh God, in spite of, oh God. Oh, Father, we thank you today. Father, we pray today that we will not be conformed to this world, but we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. Father, we thank you that we have the mind of Christ Jesus. Father, we thank you that we are strong in the power and in the might of Almighty God. Father, we pray today that everything that the enemy meant for harm in our life, hallelujah, that you are turning it around now in the name of Jesus. Father, Father, we thank you today that we walk in the blessings of Abraham. Father, we thank you today that we are blessed as a body of Christ, that we can come together and break the bread of life today, God. We thank you for moving, hallelujah, in this ministry, Lord God. We pray that you will advance our territory, oh God. We pray that you will take us to the nation, God. We pray that you will bless us with all heavenly blessings, God. Whatever we need, oh Oh God, hallelujah, to push the ministry forward. God, we believe you right now. We believe you that it's done. We thank you for equipping us today as a body of Christ, oh God. Hallelujah, we thank you that.